It means loads. This is my third competition, uh, my third Commonwealth Games that I've ever done, actually. So, you know, I'm fairly fairly experienced in these, a bit of a veteran, if you would. Um, I'm really excited to compete here in Gold Coast. The Commonwealth Games means so much to me. And after the success following four years ago, uh, I'm extremely excited to come back here, um, try and defend some titles and try and gain a few more. It was a massive stepping stone, Glasgow. Um, it was the first international competition that me and Chris had won. Um, which gave us a huge confidence boost to go into the Rio 2016 Olympics with all that confidence that we've gained from that uh, Commonwealth Games to then be so successful in the Rio Olympics. Um, you know, for the Commonwealth Games, it's such a massive learning curve for some younger divers as well, which, you know, back in 2010, that was me and the progress that I've made, hopefully some of these other divers can make as well. So it's a really, really good event for everyone involved and I'm really excited to compete here. Overall, I'm really happy um, with how everything's going. Um, would have loved some more preparation time going into this event. Unfortunately, I was injured in the off season. Um, but, you know, I've worked really hard with my coaches, doctors, physios, everyone to make sure that I'm in as best shape as I can be to come out here and try and do as well as I can. We've explored some new paths uh, in my diving uh, in my diving list. Um, some things are a lot harder than others, <laughs> uh, and I am at the, actually the, the highest end of the, the scale. Uh, I have the highest degree of difficulty in the world currently. Uh, haven't progressed anything for this competition. I'm actually doing the exact same one meter list as I did four years ago. I'm doing the three meter list that I did in Rio as well. Um, so you know, still very difficult. Don't get me wrong. Um, but we are working on a couple of things, hopefully for the next couple of years. Yeah, it would mean so much to retain a Commonwealth title, especially with the you know the bad off season that I've had. It would mean a lot to me and it would give me a, a tremendous amount of confidence going into the World Cup and the Europeans later this year. It was amazing being at Abbey Road, um, actually seeing the live version of it, you know, it was it was really, really a great honour. Jasmine Sawyers and Tokyo Myers were unbelievable to be fair and the live orchestra was, oh, wow, it was breathtaking really. Um, I love the song, I love that it's a new up to date version. For me and for other people within England, um, it's really good if they can hear the song, hear the lyrics and know what the, um, the anthem is so that they can get behind our nation and hopefully spur on our athletes to do as well as they can.